And now to a scam alert, the Bark Animal Shelter warning all pet owners to beware of phone calls coming from someone pretending to be from the shelter claiming to have found their lost animal. The scammers then ask for money to get the animal back. And as KBRC 2's Bill Barajas explains, the crooks have even found a way to mask their phone number and make it appear like the call is coming from that shelter. Well, they aren't quite sure how they're doing it. That number is actually Bark's customer service line. Once they get you on the phone, they lie to you and tell you that your dog is here at the shelter and that it'll cost you $250 to have them return. But once you show up to the shelter, your four legged friend isn't here. The plot is meant to play on your emotions. That's kind of messed up in a way you think about it. Cruel even to those who don't have animals, but showed up here to drop off a stray found in a dumpster. Mark Armandera says he's not a victim in this case, but has been scammed before. I've been scammed like so many times, so I, like, like you said, I'll investigate further. Bark's deputy shelter director, Corey Stoudemire, explained how it works. Back in June, we got a couple calls, but then as most recently as last week, we got another one from residents who told us they were called by somebody using our phone number, our customer service line, saying, hey, we found your pet. We know it's missing. It's actually here at Bark. If you pay us a fee over the phone, you can come by afterwards and pick it up. The scam designed to give you hope. I know the person back in June who actually did uh, pay was like asked to do it via Apple Pay and I think through gift card too. Everybody who's gotten a call has actually had a missing pet. So we think they're going online and seeing where people are posting either on Facebook, next door, or some kind of forum online where their contact information is also included. Stoudemire says her most recent case was just last week. Here's how he says you can avoid falling victim. Bark does not require payments over the phone. We're telling everybody to hang up and give us a call back at the shelter. Bark added that they found that this is not just a Houston problem. Other major cities are dealing with the same scam. From Bark, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.